What's going on guys? It is Golagio here. Welcome back to another FIFA 21 career mode video. Guys, I was really intrigued recently. I've been having a think and thinking, you know what? I've experienced so many issues in FIFA 20. We need to see some new features in career mode to actually improve this drastically. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you want to see in FIFA 21 career mode. And of course, while you're done, hit that like and that subscribe button. But let's go on into my first idea. So the first one you're going to be looking at is voices for managers. Oh, this is so frustrating in transfers, in post-match interviews, pre-match match interviews we really need to see some sort of voices in there let's be fair the comments back that we usually experience within these cutscenes are generic right they're nothing really special other than a couple of names which it might be which would take a lot of uh, time and effort to actually put in there but a lot of the responses are the exact same especially in post-match interviews where it's literally the exact same comment every single time but in the same with the transfers as well let's have conversations going back and forth they only have to be generic. The player doesn't have to speak. It's just between the manager and the agent. I think it'd be really interesting. And it would just add that little bit extra to the cutscenes. Coming in next, of course, we've all about cutscenes. Improve post-match and pre-match interviews. I've experienced so many issues with this. It is starting to become so frustrating and really annoying. One of the biggest issues I've actually experienced is this thing of Newport County are unbeaten in the league so far this season well actually i'm not i've lost um several games but i'm unbeaten for five games which is what they're trying to refer to but they don't it's like i want you to be slightly more detailed and also i actually get that question all the time it's the exact same question with the exact same answer it's really boring and i start to skip my post-match interviews because I think sometimes there's no need for me to do them because it doesn't add any benefit whatsoever. Also as well, it doesn't communicate well enough with the actual game that's going on. I'm going to throw you a scenario which I've had in a previous career mode. I was in a final game of the season and there was three teams in contention for promotion in the league. I was currently in third place and all I had to do was win my game to gain promotion depending on other results. In the pre-match interview, in the post-match interview, it said I didn't gain promotion. I actually won the league that day because it was that close. We had the cup celebrations and everything. And the post-match interview was Newport, um, the team, your team couldn't win the game today. So you're not getting promotion. What's your answer to that? Then it's like, that's not the case. That has not happened. It really needs to be worked on. I really think something like that would be brilliant. That It's just fine-tuning it. I just don't understand why it's so generic and boring. And even though it doesn't even work properly, it'd be good for it to work even better. So this next one I'm actually looking at is going to be quite pedantic, right? I experienced, for the first time in FIFA... Somebody handing in a transfer request. Three players of mine done this. And what I did in my career mode, I thought, you know what, I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to play them every single game, train them every session, decline every offer, and work my socks off to make sure they withdraw that transfer request. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't actually happen. You can't turn that around. The moment that transfer request goes in, you've had it. They are not playing for your club anymore. Because one thing I did, I played to the end of the season, and then they added in another one at the start of the season. Even though, in their comments, they said, oh, I haven't been playing at all, I need to play football. Even though they've just featured in the last 20 games, it still doesn't work. And I think it'd be good to have some sort of communication with a player. Once they hand that in, you can't communicate with them. All you can do is sell them or keep rejecting it, which is really unfortunate. I think you should be able to talk to them, make an initial comment saying, I'm really gutted that you're handing in transfer requests. I think you'll be still good for the side. I was only experimenting. Keep them on your side, which is the whole point of player morale. You should be able to affect it, but it's not on your side. One thing I really love, um, random takeovers. They used to happen a couple of seasons ago for other clubs, but never actually happened for your club. I think it'd be really interesting to see this actually happen, especially lately. There's loads of rumors going around of clubs being taken over in real life. I think this would be something really good to happen in FIFA because... 
I don't necessarily want to buy a takeover to actually improve my side. I think it would be great to see like, okay, let's take my Newport County Karimo, for example, that someone comes in randomly and goes, we're going to take over your side. It isn't the biggest uh, takeover in the world. It's like to value of your budget. So we're taking over. You're going to get a bit more money. Um, so, but we're going to take over the side because one of the biggest issues that I've had is that when you get promoted and stuff, if you're a small side, you don't really have a budget. It, you can't really do much with it. But if you had a random takeover, say we're going to give you this amount of budget, I think it'd be good. And if you can request more funds, it'd be absolutely brilliant. But I think the takeover value would be affected by this, which is your club reputation, which we don't actually have in this game. Well, I don't think we do anyway. Like, I, I've looked everywhere. You have different types of reputation and stuff for your manager, but not for the actual club. So what is the value of this club? Um, of course, you have the objective actually bringing the club value up, but... You don't have this reputation, which I think would be vital, which would be really good. Because if you can actually improve the reputation in your club, you're going to attract better players, which I think would be really, really good for you. And I just think it'll bring many fun ways for you to play Karimo. Like, it make you want to go, right, I need to improve my reputation. And then in League One, when you've won... Uh, say lead two, for example, you can sign a lot better players because your reputation has gone up quite a bit considering you've been promoted. I want to see really badly now um, a better youth academy league. Don't have to play it. Don't have to play it. I just want to see it in there or a reserve squad. Um, to say the least. So what I think would be good with this is that if you've actually developed the youth side, you can enter them into a league. Um, or you start with a random youth academy. You have a general youth academy with one or two good players in there, and then you sign players into there, and it's an automatic league which you can see the stats, see who's performing well. Because one of the biggest issues I've had is that I sign players for my youth academy. They're just not ready as far as I'm away for first team football, but they can improve while playing in the youth academy. That would be brilliant, but it just doesn't happen at the moment. So a youth academy or like reserve league, which is just general, maybe it's like a super league or it's just the exact same as the league that you're in, but it's all youth players, I think would be brilliant to actually have in it gives you that extra insight into how the your youth academy is doing and if you think oh he's playing really well he scored 20 odd goals this year let's sign him in so i want to see in fifa better contract negotiations and this is more leaning towards the youth academy because i've noticed it got rid of that contract negotiation you actually have with a youth academy and they play a role now within the squad is based on their actual rating which is a big big issue when you're a lower league side. Because I didn't realise I was signing players and they were going to critical status because of their rating. They, because they were at the higher end of the later 60s, even though they wouldn't be starting, they still got given that critical status without me even negotiating it. I really think you should have that ability to negotiate with youth academy players again and actually go, right, I want I want it to improve. I want to be able to go, right, I want you as a, a sporadic player, which is what they should be when actually becoming into a youth squad. And then you can improve their contract over time, having the ability to keep them happy while working with the morale system. Better negotiations, better contracts are needed. But anyway, guys, they were seven features that are needed in FIFA 21 career mode. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. What do you think of these ideas? And what I think I might do over the next couple of weeks is actually do um, a couple of series of a couple of ideas that I have, but with graphics a full lot. But guys, I want to say thank you for watching. we got a couple of new series launching very soon. We do have the best series, which is going to be coming. So make sure you subscribe. And if you're watching this, it might be already live. Um, and of course, we do have the Players Like series, which is going to be starting very soon as well. And we launched a new one a couple of weeks ago, which is the best signings for. Um, and we are going to be bringing that to you as well over the next couple of weeks. But guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Glazio. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.